Amazing Grace is a little prince toy. Yay! <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Percy, and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how you doing, guys? So I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's uh, toy story. So today we're not featuring a fast food toy, uh, but instead we have this awesome toy of the Little Prince. Okay, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. look at this. I guess uh, all of you who have read the book uh, Little Prince would be familiar with this <laughs> particular character. Look at this. I never realized that there are actually merchandise or toys that were made out of the Little Prince. It is such a popular uh, uh, a book. Um, it was originally uh, published in France and uh, because of the universal message, uh, it became so popular everywhere. I think we've... Um, We've uh, read about it in our philosophy subjects when I was in college. And uh, of course, prior to that, I've also had encounters in high school uh, about the Little Prince. And one of the points that seen um, uh, was uh, in that particular book was the encounter of the fox uh, and the Little Prince. Uh, uh, they talk about friendship, how a relationship is. <laughs> For a minute, I thought Little Prince was actually looking at me, but this is a cute guy, and I just love it. Okay, uh, the, the encounter of the fox and the Little Prince, and uh, it takes a while before you actually get into that. And one of the famous uh, quotes from the book uh, that will that will be called uh, that has often been called from the book, and is often used in answers in beauty pageants or in whatever if you want to be profound, uh, because indeed it uh, it is rich with uh, the truths about life. Uh, uh, one uh, such example would be um, when... Uh, uh, was it the fox who said it or the little friend? Okay, it is said that uh, what is essentially is invisible to the eye. Uh, uh, yeah, something like that. Um, it is uh, through the heart that one can see clearly what is essentially is invisible to the eye. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes we should not be deceived by what appears right in front of us. Um, but I guess uh, uh, what is most important is what is inside, what is uh, really at the heart of every individual, at the heart of every uh, experience or whatever circumstance that uh, happen in our lives. Okay, uh, and uh, so that could... Um, lead us into a lot of realizations uh, about ourselves, about life, and about our friendships, about our relationships in life. Um, sometimes we are so engrossed with physicalities, we're, uh, we're so um, into underscoring uh, the aesthetics, the exterior uh, physical attributes of the individual that we sometimes tend to forget that we should go beyond what is skin deep but instead look into the core of that individual what is uh, ethereal, what is really essential which is basically what is inside <laughs> and I just love the fact that he lives in this uh, mini minuscule planet that I think he's the only one who lives there who can actually live there because it's so small, it's so round and then he has a lamppost there and then he has this um, uh, this rose, this solitary rose um, uh, now I get it. Uh, he was all of the, all of a sudden sad, and when he saw this field of rose, he realized that uh, the rose that he had in this planet uh, uh, is just one of the many multitudinal roses. So what made it special? Um, and then uh, I think it was the fox. I, I guess we really have a profound and very, <laughs> very. 
a very philosophical box here that it is uh, it with the time that you spent uh, with the rose that made it special um, compared to the rest of the other roses. It's with the time and the love that you shared together uh, that made it special even if you are confronted with so many other things. Uh, your friends, uh, because you spent time with them, uh, yeah, that is basically what made them special. Okay, <laughs> so this is great. Now, going back to the toy, look at the blonde hair of the little prince and the eyes. I think this is faithful to how the illustrations of uh, the book, uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, the, the, the author was the same one who basically illustrated the book. As far as I know, uh, the book was uh, authored by Antoine de Saint Exupéry. <laughs> Antoine de Saint Exupéry. So I guess uh, he's uh, one really uh, uh, talented guy. If he did the book, he wrote the uh, the text, and then at the same time they did the illustration for the book. So now, if you were to go to take a look at the book, it's just a black and white uh, book, and sometimes they were rendered in colored. Uh, in colored uh, illustrations this is how the little prince would appear in the book look at the round eyes and then you know that subtle smile and then look at this nose it's so good it's a fabric that i don't know how they were able to actually uh yeah replicate the image of the little prince and look at the wardrobe it's a uh, color light green with this uh, red belt and then uh, this red bow tie and then at the bottom we have the <laughs> the black shoes of the little prince okay look at the disheveled there now i'm going to look for a really big jar for this particular toy because uh, as you can see some of the fabrics that were used here are light colored and i'm just glad that uh, uh we're still able to maintain it in its uh you know pristine condition so it says over here the little prince Le Petit Prince. Uh, Le Petit is uh, small in Little Prince and uh, we have the company here that produced this particular toy. Samsung. Oh, Samsung. <laughs> Samsung, their telecommunications, uh, global Samsung telecommunications, and they call. Okay, so this, so probably Samsung uh, did the commercial or any advertising uh, uh, gimmick uh, that uh, sort of uh, uh, borrowed uh, the likeness or the influence of the little prince in their advertising campaign and i guess that is a pretty intelligent uh, idea to be able to use the little prince in your calls and uh, actually taking the time to i bet the commercial would entail the little prince calling the rose <laughs> from the planet that he uh, is living uh, so that they could maintain uh, their correspondence uh, maintain their, their friendship okay and uh, yeah since this is now a part of my Percy's toy collection I am going to sign this awesome little prince toy to make it officially a part of my Percy's toy collection where am I going to sign it? I guess here okay, so carefully yeah going to look for a really big jar for this probably an elongated jar so that uh, we can display little prince and then not having the fear of the dust and all those other uh, yeah uh, I mean dirts in the air to soil or to tarnish our little prince okay so and I've got to say that this is just an amazing grace so once again guys uh, let's try to be thankful to God for all the amazing grace to come to our lives be in the form of the little prince toy from Samsung and Nicole such an awesome toy and a great addition to my Percy's fast but toy collection or basically guys let's be thankful for every amazing grace be they small or big be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I thank you guys for always tuning in to Percy's Fast for Toy Story. Thank you so much to the new subscribers. And please uh, do invite your other friends to also subscribe because we still have a lot more. And I mean a lot more Percy's Fast for Toy Story and non fast for Toy Stories of my sleeves. Okay, so until the next one, bye-bye for now. And I hope you come back again here in the same channel that's Percy's Toy Story. So until the next one, bye-bye. And here's... Le Petit Prince, the Little Prince.